coffee. So this is a little different than uh, my normal vlogs. It's actually nighttime. In like an effort to keep mental sanity, went ahead and took like a nice leisurely relaxing day to myself. So I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog with a skincare routine. This is not my bathroom. Alicia is trying to convince me to get these mirrors that she recently got. She wants me to spend $200 on a light up mirror, which, you know, the second she told me that, I was like, absolutely not, that's ridiculous. But I have to say this light Lighting is impeccable. I'm this close to being like, yeah, I think I need it in my bathroom because my bathroom lights yellow. Insert bathroom clip. Oh, these are gorgeous. So <laughs> she's right. Like I don't have any other lights in the bathroom on just the mirror lights and it looks so good. So anyways, I digress. I feel like me and you have been having great conversations in the comments of all my vlogs and you guys are asking for a nighttime skincare routine. So I'm going to do that for you guys. This is, believe it or not, much more narrowed down than it used to be. I'm really trying to only use a few strong products on my face at a time. I feel like there was a period in my life where I was just lathering everything on, but I really noticed that my skin does well with less. This does sound like a lot, but when you think about actual like active ingredient products, it's really only a couple. So let's get into it. First things first, I'm going to go ahead and throw my hair back so it's out of my face. Anyone else's hair getting extremely long during this quarantine season? It's my own fault. I just need to book an appointment, but I don't want to. I'm just being lazy. That's what 2020 has done to me. Lazy. We're going to go ahead and get on into this. I didn't actually wear any makeup today. I was kind of giving my skin a little bit of a break. That makes this whole process so much easier. Normally, I would use a makeup wipe and a cleansing oil, but because I'm not wearing any makeup, we're going with just the cleansing oil. This is Pure by Tatcha. It's one of my favorite cleansing oils. It smells amazing. You just gently rub this onto your skin and it'll just kind of get rid of any oils, any dirt, any makeup. Again, I don't have makeup, but I did put on sunscreen. So like this kind of helps just kind of break through anything that's on the surface of your skin. Also, I do apologize. I am just a chronic pink skin person. It doesn't matter how light I touch my face. I automatically just start getting pink. So just forewarning you now. Go ahead and rinse this off. This isn't necessary, but I am currently using one of those antibacterial washcloths. I just got one recently and I'm a big fan. They're supposed to be much better for your skin. I can't confirm or deny if that's true. This is my second time using one, but I just recently got one. I'm very excited to try it out and see how I like it. Okay, moving on. Now that I've gotten like that first layer off my skin, we're gonna get in a little bit deeper. This is the Kate Somerville Exfoliating Cleanser and it's one of my favorites. I'm going to just go ahead and just reassure you guys, this is not a sponsored video in any way. 
these are actual products that I've actually been using for quite some time now. No lies here, only truth. I just go ahead and take this and smear it all over my skin, just a nice even layer. And then I love to use my Foreo at night only. I don't know if it's safe to say this, but I usually don't wash my face in the morning. I'll just kind of rinse it with water, pat it dry and, and call it a day. But at night specifically, I love getting in there and deep cleaning my pores. I have larger pores, I think compared to most of my friends. So I feel like I have to normally like really get in there and make sure everything gets out. Otherwise I'll break out. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this. And then of course, go ahead and rinse your face off. I feel so much better already. This part is just like a random tidbit, but when I use the cleansing oil, the water is usually kind of just mediocre warm, but when I wash my face with my face wash, it's like hot, so my pores open up. Normally, somewhere in between here, I would do some kind of face mask. This is one that I haven't really used that often, but this is uh, by the brand Dr. Brandt. This is the vacuum cleaner. It's supposed to really clean out your pores. This is only my third, I think, time using it, so I'm not going to say it's one of my absolute favorites, but I do like it so far. It's a really cool jelly texture and it's very cooling and there's little beads in there that you just kind of massage onto your skin like so. A face mask isn't something that I would put on every single day. It's more like every other day, every few days for me, but I figured since you guys were, you know, joining me as my guest this evening, I would go ahead and give you one. Every mask is different. This one says to leave it on for five to 10 minutes. So I'm probably gonna go watch a YouTube video or something for a bit and then uh, I'll be back to take this off. Okay guys, it's a little bit later. I'm going to go ahead and get the mask off my face. I really do like that face mask a lot. It makes your skin feel so cool. <sighs> Gonna go ahead and let my face dry a little bit. I am a big fan of hydrating toners. One of my favorite ones that I'm currently using at the moment is from Biba. This is a hydrating toner and it's just one of those ones that you can put on at any point during the day. It's super simple. You can put it on over makeup. You can spray yourself throughout the day whenever you feel like your skin's feeling kind of dry. This obviously isn't like pocket size, but if you wanted, you could put it in a tinier bottle and leave it in your bag and then just kind of spritz yourself during the day. I'm home 24 <laughs> seven like the rest of us pretty much. So I don't have a little mini one, but big fan of this and it just gives it a little boost of moisture. smells great too. Cool, now that that's done. If you guys have watched my videos for a while, then you know I am a big Sunday Riley fan. Good Jeans is one of my all-time favorite products out there. I've tried a lot, guys. 30 years of experience over here. This is one of my favorites. This is a all-in-one lactic acid treatment. I don't do this every single day, but there have been times where, especially in the summer when I'm doing a lot of sunscreen and, and product on my face, especially then, I could do this daily if I wanted to. I'm not right now. It's kind of more of an every other day. I'll just squirt a little bit onto my fingers, give myself a little even layer everywhere. And this is one of those products that I just, I bring it onto my neck and my chest. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like people neglect the neck area. And when you go and see like older people, I feel like neck and hands usually shows signs of aging a lot more than everything else. So whatever product you're putting on your face, bring it on down to your neck and clavicle area because those are important and need TLC as well. Immediately after putting on my good jeans, I always go in with a serum. I have all three of Sunday Riley's oils, but this is the CEO Glow Vitamin C and Turmeric Face Oil. This is unreal. I kind of rotate between all three of them depending on what I feel like my skin needs. Right now, I feel like I need a little boost of glow. I feel like that's normal for this time of year as well. And I'm gonna let you guys in on a little secret that I do. I like to mix my serums, at least the serum, with their moisturizer. I think it kind of saves a step. It just makes Makes sense to me. Also, I had a skincare person kind of recommend that to me as well, and I was like, that's brilliant, why don't I do that? So I'll just take it and put a few drops on the moisturizer like so, blend it together, put it all over my skin like that. 
again bringing it down onto my neck and clavicle area my baby hairs are getting in the way <laughs> something else that i have learned from facialists once you get it kind of onto your skin like i'm doing right here the best thing you can do with serums and moisturizers is to just simply press into your skin it's way more effective in letting your pores absorb the product that is on your skin so i'll just sit and press for a little bit until I feel like the majority of the product has been absorbed. And then if you do rub on your neck, always go up. That's what my facialist girl always said, so that's what I do. <laughs> this is Kate Somerville's Eradicate Acne Treatment. I use this all the time whenever I have something, I'll just kind of dab it onto that spot. But I just gave my face a little once through. I think I'm doing okay right now. I don't think I need any of that. But if I did, and if you guys struggle with acne, Kate Somerville's Eradicate is my favorite. At this point, something I do every single night is eye drops. I have already said it once, but I have allergies, so this is a big one for me. The next product is just a little hair oil. My ends have been better. I've been trying when I remember to, to put on a hair oil. This is Living Proof's Fizz Vanishing Oil. It basically just adds a healthy shine and helps with frizz. I usually just take a little bit of this and massage it into my ends. It's a very dry hair oil, so it's not very thick or sticky or it's gonna make your hair too oily. I wouldn't put it on your roots at all, but I'll just kind of rub this into my ends before going to bed so that my hair can soak it up. Cool. That's done two more things we're almost there tatcha's lip mask is one of the best in the game i love this thing i would wear it during the day probably a mental thing but i don't like dipping my fingers into a pot during the day when my hands might not be as clean as they are right now so i usually save this for nighttime but it is always on my nightstand and i put it on right before bed it's a very um thick pink jelly i'll just kind of dab my finger on there rubber on like so I usually don't get crazy chapped lips, but every time the weather changes, like from summer to winter, for example, my lips get crazy dry. So this is one of my favorites. I'll just sleep in it. I'll put it on super thick and sleep in it. And I wake up the next day and my lips feel great. And then finally, this isn't something that I do every single day, but whenever I feel like my under eyes are looking a little rough, I'll put on a little under eye patches. This is just a very thin jelly one. I like putting it on right after I've moisturized so that it kind of just locks in what I just put onto my skin if that makes sense. So I'll just apply this like that. If you guys aren't big into under eye patches, let me be the one to convince you. They're worth it. Especially if you have a special like under eye cream, I would put it on, wait a beat, and then put something like this on over the top. So it just kind of like forces it down into the skin. If that makes sense. Boom. I'll leave these on for approximately 10 minutes. I will do other things, get ready for bed, watch a show, edit, <laughs> all of those things that I normally do. And then um, because there's there's really no washing off with this. I'll just peel them off and throw them away. So I'm gonna do that real quick. Okay guys, it's probably more like 15 minutes than 10, but here we are. The mask is definitely dry. So I'm just gonna go ahead and peel this off, which, ugh, they feel so good going on and even better coming off. Wow, 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 wow. There's a second one. I feel great. I feel rejuvenated. My skin feels fresh. And yeah, that is the end of my skincare routine. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you guys are enjoying Vlogmas so, so, so much. I'm probably just going to, you know, hang with the roomies for the rest of the night. Probably edit this. <laughs>